I don't know if you could tell, but I adore statement and special and outstanding items. Indeed, so many times I get asked, like, hey, Changa, where did you get them? And I'm like, Come here, I'm gonna tell you a secret because big part of them is from second-hand resources. The knowledge is not just that, the secret is not just that, the secret is how to get the best items and how to get deals and how to avoid filling up your wardrobe with things that you're never gonna wear anymore. So if you were wondering how I got this, 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 this and this, just keep on watching because I'm going to share with you the best tricks and tips that I'm following personally in order to get these pieces. <laughs> Buongiorno, buongiorno everybody, happy new year! Nice to meet you if you're new on my channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. My name is Cenga, I'm a personal stylist based in Milan and this channel is more or less about that and about you finding your own personal style. This is the moment to shout out to my new subscribers. Give me time. I've got you guys, thank you so much, it makes me so happy, it's my, the best Christmas gift ever and especially thanks to those who subscribe publicly so I can have your initial on your dedicated heart so you guys are going to the jar okay that being said let's get to today's topic so I recently started to purchase mostly on Vinted that is pretty popular right now I love it because they have like a very 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 wide range of choice so that you can just really not even imagine what to get because they have too much stuff actually to be honest but regardless you can implement these ideas into like real life shoppings as well so that for example when I go to Bivio that is my favorite store in Milan they are very very nice and very very cute and they are actually the best store in my opinion for thrift shopping in Milan so if you're coming to Milan check it out and so whenever you feel like going for thrift shopping like in real life you can still implement these ideas in your shopping experience first one let's know your style that's the most important part you guys like i've been making this mistake so many times it's cheap it looks great i like it and then i go home and i realize it's not even my style i cannot even match it with anything and i don't even feel confident it in anymore like i took like at least half year to just refresh my closet through vintage like it was like a complete project and I managed to do that I saw like over 120 items and that's even scary to think about and I never want to get to that point again according to some people some youtubers for example you should just see the items one by one but I don't think that is the solution especially when it's like a huge quantity of items so that's when your own personal style comes to the game actually because once you have it defined you know the materials and you know the the colors and you know the world that you're looking for so definitely that is going to reduce the quantity of the items that you have to look through and if you don't really know how to define your style that's where your favorite personal stylist comes to the picture because I actually have sorry guys I'm just so hyped today I have launched my exclusive style planner for 2022 that is actually even downloadable month by month my goal is with this calendar is to support you throughout the year helping you finding your own personal style it is very directed it is full of knowledge trends and so many exciting things so if you're interested i'm going to leave the link in the description box and you can check it out and this is where the second point comes because you have to know what you're looking for i know how should i know what i'm looking for if i have no idea we are looking for special items like this you see i knew what i was looking for i was looking for a corset for such a long time and i was like i really can't believe that there is not someone that is looking into their wardrobe and feeling like not getting rid of something like this and bang i was on my way back to hungary in the car and i just so this and there was no more questions so know what you're looking for know if you are looking for a pair of jeans if you're looking for winter coats boots or because the more you define the item that you're looking for the more you're gonna save time and effort and the easiest you're gonna find it actually the third one if you're not really sure what you're looking for let's say for fabric or for color just search by brand and this is actually obviously it's um it's doable only online let's just find like a pinko bag just because i made <laughs> a review about it 
I'm looking for a pinko bag so I'm just gonna put pinko in the search bar and just scroll down this is definitely the version that takes more time because you have like all the colors and all the sizes of the items so for example I really like the shop art brand and uh, I really like each of their designs so that when I was looking for a bag I just put the colors I'm looking for and just put like uh, the name of the brand and this is how I got this one just try to use the filters yes it was actually the fourth point use filters let me just bring some water because I'm talking a lot <coughs> anyway guys um, I'm just showing you this this is actually one of my favorite purchases ever it is like a two liter water bottle and it signs at what time should you get to which point and I love it I'm actually true today so that's freaking cool um, yeah I'm gonna link uh, it in the description box again because I think it's really useful put the price if you can I'm usually for example when I'm looking for something special I just try to define my budget for that so I put like 30 euros I put the filter of the the name of these items and I think I put even colorful because I have so many things in like this small tops in black and I just really believe that colors are giving you good vibes of course people are not really using keywords and if you're a seller on Vinted just check out this video as well because here I'm talking about my tips and tricks about selling well on Vinted if you are a good seller you're gonna use a lot of keywords because in this case people would find your item we cannot expect from everyone to do that so we will be very very good in finding the items if you know what I mean fifth point is keeping it up and yes you will have to be freaking patient uh -huh. It takes a lot of time to find it and you know sometimes it's like on the 6th page or the 20th page so if you are looking really really much for something just don't be scared and don't be short on time because sometimes it needs time and sometimes if you don't find it you can just like each week have a look at uh, the listings because it's just getting updated from day to day so I still have items I'm just looking for but I'm patient because I want to get that one that is going to be offered on the price range I'm looking for it and it's not gonna happen in one second six point bargain <laughs> when there is an acceptable price I would say um, you're just about to buy a pair of heels for like six euros and it's in best conditions and it would even worth more but we're not gonna tell to the seller <laughs> oh my god I'm laughing on my own okay never mind however in some certain cases when the price is high um, I think it's okay to ask for um, an offer like don't be shy do it because if they are keen to sell something they are going to sell it on that price you know it's a like game and you should just try and sometimes they say okay I mean it's their own personal decision if they want to sell it for the price you offer it's a marketplace so it's completely fine and you should really use this tool a trick um, don't talk about this to too many people but actually if you are in Vinted if you're going to the listed item you you click on more info you can see all the description details you can see the color the size etc and you can also see when the item was listed and usually a seller that uploaded something five months ago six months ago and you can see that they are still active that means that they actually want to get rid of that item so you know if something is not selling well and you are there that would actually purchase the item but like on a slightly lower price it is very probable that they would say okay <laughs> so just take it as you want okay it happens to me as well okay like I get so many times um, a lower price offer and sometimes I actually accept it so yeah it's fine so I hope that this video was useful for you if it was just please consider subscribing or giving me a thumbs up it really helps me out and makes me happy and check out this video as well it's very very useful as well and see you next time ciao